Rich Toronero is well known in the community for his work in the local funeral home. It's his work above the clouds, flying foster animals and sick patients that largely goes unnoticed. You know, the, the quarters are a little tight, but uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's good. And the, most of the bigger dogs, like I say, uh, will lay down in the back seat. It was a $100 bill as a Christmas gift from his father-in-law that motivated Toronto Road to take flight lessons 30 years ago. He just kept talking about it and never did anything. And he finally said, here, you know, do it. So that was what I needed, apparently. Trained in instrument rating and high performance endorsements, as a pilot, Toronto Road shares his love with the sky. The Pilots and Paws allows us to connect with fosters, rescues, animal shelters to, to transport animals, mainly dogs, but it doesn't have to be just dogs, uh, from a, a point A to point B where they need to be saved from a rescue, or from a kill shelter perhaps, um, in order to maybe get them to a safe place. Toronto Row not only volunteers his time, but also his wallet. Expenses are, are borne by his pilots, uh, fuel, aircraft use, everything. The animals, at times, share their appreciation with Toronto Row. In fact, some of them will actually come up behind me and lick me. I mean, they know we're helping them. They just, they just know. It is so neat. 5, 7 November, departing runway 6, close traffic, Seneca County. Not only does Toronto Row transport animals, he also volunteers his piloting skills with LifelinePilots.org. That's an organization that connects pilots and patients that need transportation. Maybe are at the end of their rope financially, emotionally, physically. 12 hour ride in a car just isn't feasible. So we can, very similar concept, we can get people from point A to point B for the treatment that they need. I'm in a business where we help people. And, and so this is just kind of my way of carrying that philosophy over into other areas where we can help people. And Toronto Row tells me as long as there's a need and he can still fly, he will continue his volunteer work. In Tiffin, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.